veteran and well-known writer and poet James Matthews turns 90 this week. He's been honored at an event at the Artscape Theatre in Cape Town. A lot of Matthews's work had been banned by the apartheid government. Matthews was born in the historic Boer Cup in 1929. Throughout his adult life, he was prominent in the fight for freedom. He used his writing and poetry to oppose apartheid. For this, his books were banned and he was refused permission to travel abroad for 13 years. He fought against apartheid with his poetry. He fought against apartheid so that we, especially this space, which was the bastion for apartheid, Nico Milan, can truly say our journey today is artscape. And that is why we said Uncle James must have his 90th birthday celebration as an iconic figure for this country. The Matthews family is happy to be celebrating their father's 90th birthday with friends. He's had a very full life. There have been many upheavals. We as a family know the sacrifices that he's made. We know the values that he's strived for. We know what he's taught us. So for us as family, we just want to say thank you and we're happy to celebrate his life with his friends, with his family and as Marlene has said, also that he gets the recognition for what he has done in his life. As for the birthday boy, he says it's unfortunate that he can't write anymore due to ill health, but he's still committed to serving his community. I don't walk around with being an icon or an elder that these things should go to your head. With me, three things are important, and that is uh, humility, integrity, and compassion. If I can live up to those three things, then I would serve a purpose not only for me, but for those around me. A 2017 recipient of the Arts and Culture Trust Lifetime Achievement Award in Literature, Matthews has produced several books of poetry and a collection of short stories. He also holds honorary doctorates from the universities of the Western Cape and Rhodes. Mariska Buerta, SABC News, Cape Town.